everyone and welcome back to the channel it's kitty here or welcome if you are new i hope you're having a good day today we're doing a very exciting build i don't know i had so much fun building this so i think it turned out great so today we're building a woodland wedding venue or a forest wedding fairy tale wedding whatever, whatever you want to call it i'm probably going to title this woodland wedding venue oh my god i cannot say that because it's two w's and one normal v so it's like woodland wedding venue <laughs> oh my gosh i'm having troubles but yeah that's what we're building i don't know why i just really wanted to build like a community lodge and i have seen like a bunch of pictures of these on pinterest and just google etc and i went and looked some more and they just look so beautiful like i don't think i actually at the moment have like my dream wedding all planned out i don't really know where i would want to get married like as in if, if it would be my absolute dream wedding but i think a woodland wedding would definitely be a great great possibility because it is just so pretty and the things you can do and like oh my gosh you can wear like a flower crown and a really pretty dress i just think it's really cool so we're building a park today because i think in the sims 4 i wasn't sure what lots you can get married on but i know you can get married in a park so i made this a park i put a few items in a little tiny basement downstairs that you cannot access just so that we would have all the requirements for this to be a park but it is a park now, so you can literally just place this in your game. It has everything you need for a wedding. And then just start your wedding there. And then take it out afterwards. Because this is not really a good park to have in your game. I wouldn't just go here for any other day in the park. This is like made specifically for a wedding but basically we have this beautiful old barn that's turned into like this dance room kind of thing there's a really big dance floor in there and then there's two bubble blowers but that's basically all that's in there the upstairs is not even accessible but i thought it looked really pretty and i did want to have like at least one building in this whole lot since the rest of it is basically just a forest because that's what it is it's a forest wedding basically so at least we have one building and then i hit some bathrooms behind this building they're from i don't even know but it's one of those items that you can find in the world like in the community lots that has like two bathrooms in it it's not like an actual building that you can see inside but it does work as <laughs> toilets so if your sims need to go to the toilet there are some toilets hidden behind that house or the barn i don't think i showed me putting them down but they are there because i realized oh yeah probably should have some toilets because if you're gonna have a wedding somebody's gonna need to use the toilet so they're hidden there and then we have so many nice things to do here like i would i am 100 percent gonna use this i don't know when but like when my sim is getting married i am gonna use this because i think this could make such a really awesome nice wedding venue so basically you have obviously the wedding arch and you have like a really nice foresty aisle that you walk is it called an aisle yeah it's all that you walk down there's a bunch of flowers there i put the white rose petals on the floor the little carpet i thought was perfect so that's there and then there all the guests can sit on some like logs and it's really beautiful so that's there and then i actually used these arches here that you can see on the screen right, right now I, I think they're from get together and i didn't realize that it's not a wedding arch at least i don't think it is because it says absolutely nothing about weddings why is this not a wedding arch and then afterwards i when i uploaded to the gallery i did change one of these to be an actual wedding arch but it looks so much worse because there are no brown wedding arch arches are are they called arches i don't know but I searched them up and there's only two in the whole game two and there's one of them like would have gone better with this whole theme because it's made of wood but it had like really really light colors and then the other one only had white colors it was that whole arch was white with different flowers on it so I used that one I don't think you can see in the screenshots because I took the screenshots before I put that in because it just ruined the beautiful wedding scene here I'm so annoyed that you cannot use those as wedding arches at least I don't think you can if you can, let me know, but 
that would have been so so pretty so look at this area and we have so many fairy lights I think fairy lights is one of the biggest things you need in a woodland wedding that's like what makes it look super beautiful because once it gets dark like after you've gotten married and you're having your whole dinner and like party and dancing and then it's kind of dark in the forest but you have fairy lights like going around the trees and lights hanging from the trees I just think it's so so pretty and I also use those huge trees from movie hangout that actually have the lanterns hanging out from them and then I actually put some of these mason jar lamps hanging from this tree here next to this whole wedding arch situation <laughs> and I thought it was really cool I think that's the only place where I use the mason jars but I thought they looked really nice there and then what else do we have we have well we have a natural pool here well it's like a little pond because I wanted to add a pond in since it's supposed to be like a forest we've got a piano and a little there's two violins and a guitar so you could hire a band if this was real life but basically if you hire an entertainer they're probably just gonna play the piano but it's gonna be close to where you walk down the aisle so you're gonna have someone playing the piano then we've got this area it was inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest or Google I don't know but it was a picture of like a bunch of these like logs with so many candles on them and maybe it was like all the guests were like lighting candles once it got darker I don't know to represent their love or something I don't know but I thought it looked super pretty so I recreated that in the sims then we've also got the, the photo booth thing that came from it's a get to work I don't know but it's basically it's a thing where you can take really pretty photos I think I'm putting it down right now so I put that on the edge because I know lots of people love to take photos of your sims at their weddings uh, I like to do that too so I kind of put that on the side it's not like a main thing but it is there and I put some greenery on it and I did change it to a grey background I tried the like forest outdoors background but I wasn't really feeling it so we went with the grey one then we've got obviously this area which is the dining area so this is where you're gonna host your like feast I don't know <laughs> the, the dining part of like a wedding because usually you know you get married at like church or wherever you're getting married and then you might go to different locations or at the same location then there's like the party the wedding party with lots of food so this is where that's happening and this is the table for the married couple they sit here just the two of them I made it like a really special nice setup with lots of fairy lights and I put some swans in the middle of the table I thought they were super cute just to represent the two in love and then we've got a bunch of seating around this table as well where all your guests can be sitting and I actually got a sim to come to this lot and um, set all the tables with the like plates etc so it looks a lot prettier and it looks like what I was seeing in the pictures because I couldn't get them from the debug menu to to like stay in the actual color that I wanted they kept changing color to like a really colorful one and I just wanted like a really nice white setup what is it called to set the table what do you put on it? Tableware? I don't know, but I think when you download this build, the, all the tableware <laughs> will be on the tables already, so that'll look really nice. And then I also had that same sim bake the wedding cake, and I already brought that to this lot, and when I saved, it was there, so hopefully when you download this, it should be there on that little table there behind this seating area. So there's already a wedding cake, because I feel like that's something, like, a lot of times you just forget, and then your caterer is not gonna make one, because they just suck. Uh, also, because here you don't actually have a kitchen or anything, so I put some of those tables that you can fill with food, that you can just buy food, and it just automatically appears magic, so I also filled those tables, so they should also be filled with food so everything should be just like ready to go just like get here and start your wedding and you're good to go we've got some fireworks here that I kind of hid around you can find them if you look for them and then I put a few two of these um fire pit areas for like the evening after you're like done partying and eating maybe you can roast some marshmallows or just like hang out by the fire I thought that was really cute and I think that's everything that we've got on this lot I mean it's a pretty big lot this is in Windenburg is it only 40 by 30? I don't actually know. Maybe it is. So it's a decently sized lot. I wanted to have like a big enough lot to have enough room to have everything that I wanted. And I think it turned out really, really nice. And like this is just like this is where I want my sins to get married. I don't know. Because you know, you don't, you don't want you don't want to get married at like the most basic park in like what's the basic world called? Willow Creek? That's boring. So 
this is the perfect wedding venue for you if you don't want to get married in a church etc and you want to have like an outdoor wedding this is a super nice option and here we are making the little area that's gonna have all the candles and lanterns on it and some flowers I don't know, I just think that it would be something that the guests guests made there. It was like one of the things that you do at the wedding. I don't know. I haven't been married. Obviously, I'm not married. And I've only ever been to maybe only maybe only one wedding that I can remember. Maybe when I was like little, I might have been to some others, but I don't remember them. But recently only to one wedding. So I don't have that much experience of weddings, but I've seen them on Pinterest, etc. I haven't like started planning my own wedding or anything like that either just yet because you know I'm not even engaged. So no hurry with that, but I think I think this could be a really good option. Oh yeah, and we did put the huge like bonfire in the middle. I thought that could be fun, and it would like warm up the place and be a really nice like center point in the night once it's gotten darker, and maybe you can dance around the freaking bonfire. I don't know, but. That's what I did and I love it and I love that the whole color scheme is like green and white and brown. I use like the white flowers all around. That's the only color of flowers we have. I just think it just makes it look so much more like put together and not so random that there's just white flowers. Oh, and we did put a barn. I forgot about the barn too. So yeah, I did not remember to put a barn early enough and then I was like, oh crap, we need a bar. Like, there, who is gonna have a wedding without a bar? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some people, but I wanted to have a bar. It didn't really fit inside anymore and it didn't fit anywhere near the dining area. So I put it just outside the bar and it's only the two wide bar. I wanted to get the bigger one, but at least we have one now. So if you hire a bartender, your sims can order drinks and then take them to their tables or wherever they want to drink them. And I'm really excited. I I'm literally want to go and like have my sims get married right now because I want to use this a lot. But if you guys want it, I'm of course putting it on the gallery so you can find it under my username SimmerKittenYT or under the hashtag SimmerKitten. I'm going to call it Woodland Wedding Venue. And like I said, there should be everything you need here already. You've got fireworks, you've got the wedding cake, you've got all the food, you've got the wedding arch that I did change in afterwards because I figured that that arch wasn't an actual wedding arch, which is super annoying, but at least you can get married now, no no worries, and then you can have like a dance party inside, and you can take pictures, yeah, there is everything you could ever need, and then I think we're getting close to the end, so lastly, I was like, what else can I add to this lot? I feel like it's a little bit empty, so I just made this a little entry area, just so it looks like you're entering, I don't know, the wedding area, so obviously this is supposed to be like in a forest, but there would be kind of like an opening in the middle of the forest so there aren't trees like literally everywhere some of the pictures that i've seen from like forest or woodland weddings they do have like trees everywhere and it does look really pretty and you can like utilize the trees and like have things hanging down which looks really gorgeous but i wanted to have an open area so you could take nice screenshots here that's basically what was my thoughts so that i can take nice screenshots as so that if you guys play here you can take nice screenshots of your wedding and the trees aren't going to be in the way the entire time and and then we also made a little sign at the front here that is supposed to say like, oh, this and this person's wedding. I don't know. I just wanted to have a little sign because I saw a lot of signs in the pictures that I was looking at on Pinterest. And I wish I could do more for the tables because like the setups that people had with like the dining and all super cool like napkins and plates and like flowers on the tables and fairy lights. It was gorgeous, but obviously this is a sim. So I think I made it work. Like I think I did really well with what we have. Obviously there's no CC in this build. I don't use build and buy CC if you're new here. So this is all from the different packs that we've gotten. So excited for the new packs, by the way. I cannot wait until we get laundry day and the other game pack sometime soon. Like like they should come out in the next two months or even one I don't even know next two months I think so we're gonna have some new build and buy items and some new ideas for things to do and things to build might do a mini series on the new game pack I don't know because I don't know what the like I literally don't know what the theme is we only got the tiniest little sneak peek and it could be anything but if, if it is something like adventure related I definitely want to like play it and make a little series for you guys so you can also see all the cool stuff from the pack even if you can't get it for yourself or even if you don't even have the sims for 
We're just finishing off the bar and I just put a bunch of random items around to kind of make it look like an old bar and that was emptied and now has a huge like dance floor area. We've got a lot of a lot of fairy lights in there. I wanted to put even more going across the top of the barn, but I think I got okay. Oh, I wish you could see like the, to the top floor of the barn so that there wouldn't be like a floor and it would be super high uh, roof and then there would be fairy lights all the way up there. I think that would have been really cool, but we did put two of those bubble blowers inside because I don't know maybe that's something you might want to do in a wedding and I don't know I can't see when we're getting into the screenshots but I think we're pretty close to the end I did do a lot of landscaping I think I did it off camera but I did put something around all the trees and we have a lot of white flowers and stones all around the lot and I really like the little pond that we got as well I think I even managed to put some fish in there so that's really cool I never remember to do that but here are your screenshots I hope you guys enjoyed this build and let me know if you want to see more community lots or other wedding venues because this was my first wedding venue that I've ever built. So this was so, so much fun. If you guys enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe as well. I post new Sims videos every single day. Again, you can find this on the gallery if you want it under my username, SimmerKittenYT, or under the hashtag SimmerKitten. Or you can just search for Woodland Wedding Venue, and this should pop up. And here you can see all the tables and everything all set up with the food and everything so it's all ready to go and it looks so good in the nighttime as well anyways thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you're having a good day and i'll see you guys again tomorrow good day everybody